I can't believe I'm actually about to take the MCAT. Hi everyone, it's Taya. Welcome to my channel where you'll learn the best tips on studying, productivity, and organization. So today I'm gonna go over my test day experience for the MCAT. I took the MCAT on June 18th and I took the 3 p.m. test. First and foremost, I am so happy that I signed up for the 3 p.m. test instead of the 7 a.m. test. At the beginning of my studying, I was dead set on taking a 7 a.m. test because I did not want to be there all night. But as I was going into studying, I was having so much trouble waking up and getting my brain going that early in the morning. So I knew that it would be the same problem on test day. And then I got lucky because I ended up pushing my test date back and the only time Time that was available was a 3 p.m. test so that was honestly a blessing in disguise let me tell you and overall taking the test later in the day wasn't as bad as I thought it would be we actually got out around 9 30 um, and I was thinking that we would be out around 11 so I was very happy with that but starting from the beginning, I woke up around 9 a.m. because I didn't want to be up all day stressing myself out. So I woke up a little bit later. I went to go work out. And then after my workout, I, I spent time going over equations and making sure that they were hammered into my head because I did not plan on writing them all down at the beginning of the test. But fast forward to about 2 p.m., I get in my car and I head to the test center. Piece of advice, make sure to go find your test center before the day of your exam because my testing center was in some really weird spot and it was below a bank if i would have went on test day i would have been really confused trying to find it so please this is your sign to go find your test center before the day um, as soon as I walk in, there were already a bunch of people there. The check-in process was pretty painless. They give you a list of rules to go over um, and things you need to know for the test day. You read through them. You have to sign off and um, say that you agree to it. You also have to scan your hand in on an electronic scanner. And you're going to have to scan your palm anytime you enter or leave the testing room. They gave me my key. I went to my locker, put everything in, made sure to use the bathroom before. And when they finally scanned my hand in, made me check my pockets lift my hair and shake out my jacket and my clothes they let me into the test room at that point my heart was pumping i was like i can't believe i'm actually about to take the mcat i've been preparing for this test forever it's been eating away at my soul and now i'm actually about to take it so I sit down and you know if you've been through the full length exams, you have to uh, verify that that's you and the picture that you've taken. After you go through all that certification um, and go through the tutorial, then you start the test. Um, I use most of my tutorial time to just sit there and calm myself down. Other people use their time to write down their equations. So whatever you think is going to be best for you, do that. But I would recommend going through the actual tutorial on your practice exams so you don't have to use your time on test day like actually going through the tutorial but anyways i click next and i start the chem phys section and let me tell you i i knew that things were going downhill as soon as i opened that section <laughs> first passage I had no idea what was going on um I almost freaked out but I kept myself calm said me a little prayer and just kept chugging um it took me the entire time on that section but I was just happy it was done so I just clicked submit and raised my hand to get checked out of the testing center like I said you have to go through this whole process in order to leave the testing room you have to scan your hand out show them that you're not hiding anything like you took anything out of the room and then you're able to go and you have to stay inside the testing center on your smaller breaks um, in between the second and the third section, I did not talk about the car section here because it sucked, but that is the second section I'm referring to in this part. You do get your 30 minute break and this year due to covid you were actually allowed to leave the testing center so after i scanned my palm out showed them i wasn't hiding anything i grabbed my lunchbox i sat outside and i gave myself a pep talk couldn't be on my phone couldn't go to my car so i was just breathing in the fresh air and trying to stay calm Going into the bio section, I felt pretty confident and I think that for the most part, I felt like I knew everything. There were obviously a few that really throw you for a loop, but overall I was happy with that section. And then going into the psychology section, I was feeling pretty burnt out at that point. Test day does compare to your full lengths, but you feel more tired just because you know it's the real deal and you're exerting yourself more. You're focusing more on all the questions, making sure you're reading the passages thoroughly. So it just takes a lot more out of you. And then going through the psych so section, it was pretty standard what you normally see. Um, so that wasn't surprising at all. 
once I got through that section, I clicked submit, I checked out and I got in my car, screamed at the top of my lungs. Um, but overall, I was just super happy for it to be over. I think that your testing center is really important for your overall MCAT experience. I was super happy with all of the people that were working at my testing center. They were very nice and they made the whole process seem less daunting. So if you can, make sure to check out reviews on where you're going to be testing. Again, make sure you find your test center before test day. And also make sure to come to your test center prepared with all of the materials that you need. Well, that's all for this video. If you have any surprising test day experiences, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. If anybody is watching this video because you're preparing to go to your test, comment down below and ask any questions that you may have and i will try to answer them to my best ability but once again thank you for clicking on this video make sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications see you next time